Welcome back to Universe Mode and another episode of NWA USA. And tonight we have a full night of qualifying matches for the recently announced Women's Elimination Chamber match. It's going to be taking place at NWA All Out War, our second to last pay-per-view. We are inching closer and closer towards the end of this season with WWE 2K23 just around the corner. Former women's champion Rhea Ripley going to be qualifying, or attempting to qualify rather, against Tony Storm, who as of late has been on one hell of a run. She's really cemented herself in the women's division. We already know that Piper Niven, aka Dewdrop, has already qualified for the chamber, and Charlotte Flair the champion. Rhea Ripley being feuding with Bianca Belair for the majority of the previous year. And uh, their feud was cut short by Charlotte Flair. I say cut short despite it being a year-long feud pretty much because they were clearly not finished with each other. It's a nice spinning brain buster there by Tony Storm to Ripley. And who knows, maybe Ripley and Belair will get to face again at some stage. But for now, they've got no reason to unless it's uh, for personal personal issues. Rhea Ripley and Tony Storm, I believe, have faced off in the past with Ripley coming out on top, if I recall correctly. And it would be a major upset if Tony Storm wasn't going to the chamber after the amazing performances she's had so far, with uh, matches against Liv Morgan, matches against Dewdrop. That corner of the women's division's really been building itself up, and that's why tonight we've got a whole night of women. Ripley now with a full Nelson slam, lifting up Tony Storm. That had to at least be a five foot, five foot lift. That was an impressive one from Ripley. And now the systematic breakdown of the limbs of Tony Storm. I mean, it's in her entrance theme. Rhea Ripley brings the brutality every time. Bianca Belair's music. Bianca Belair's got a qualifying match later on tonight. And Rhea Ripley expecting the worst from Belair. And in the process, Tony Storm with the roll up. One. And a quick kick out there from Ripley. Oh my god, but it's given Tony Storm an opening here against the former women's champion. Rhea Ripley was one of the most dominating champions that we've had in Universe Mode. And I believe that she's a three-time women's champion. What a win that would be for Tony Storm. Look at this onslaught of attacks. And Ripley caught the foot. Storm caught the foot. Kick to the midsection. Tony Storm. Middle of the ring. Storm zero. One. Two. Oh, and a kick out there from Ripley. Where is Ripley taking her? Oh my god, off the barricade. Tony Storm could be done. Powerbomb off the metal barricade there. Ripley could be looking for a count out because we're at a five. No, she breaks up the count. Got an almost, almost bird's eye view aerial shot there. Rhea Ripley just completely punishing Tony Storm to the point where it's almost uncomfortable. Look at the stomps. She's got to get Storm back into the ring though to get a pinfall on her. She's too busy just launching her around the ring instead. German suplex there from Ripley. The last ditch attempt from Tony Storm who has been put through hell during this match. Again, Rhea Ripley is a force to be reckoned with. And God knows the amount of damage she's going to be able to do inside of that elimination chamber. And now going for the 
Going for, went for the, the tsunami. But got hit by a big boot. Oh, kick to the midsection. Rip tied to Tony Storm. And a, and a kick out. She's kicked out. Tony Storm slipping her shoulders off of the floor. Uh oh, uh oh, going for another tsunami. But Tony Storm with a reversal. Kick to the midsection. Storm now. A attitude adjustment pile driver. Oh my god. And looking for another Storm Zero. There it is. But she rolls her out of it. What in the world? Storm's going for another. Storm's not done. Is Tony Storm going to make it to All Out War? One, two, and she does! She's beaten Rhea Ripley! Tony Storm with the underdog story there, managing to pull out the win. What condition is she in? I don't think she cares. She's going to the pay per view. Second qualifier of the night, and we've got former champion Bianca Belair, who is saving her rematch clause, her singles rematch clause. We we discussed that previously on NWA Power. She's saving that for a later date. I think we've seen champions in the past do the same. Um, we saw Volta, for example, kind of hold off and use his rematch clause during a specific point. Bianca Belair would like to qualify herself. And Belair is going to be taking on a woman that appeared in the Battle Royal on NWA Power, the one that Doudrop won. And uh, she was actually incredibly impressive. Lacey Evans could be here tonight to advance her career massively. Lacey Evans has been a long-term member of the Universe Mode uh, series. She's been around quite some time, but never really advanced too far. She never manages to pick up significant wins. The crowd massively behind Bianca Belair here tonight, and Belair ran straight into a forearm there. From Lacey Evans, hit with a moonsault. Very nice. Almost a, uh, a handstand moonsault. And now with Belair grounded, Evans with a stomps. We've seen Lacey Evans face off with Mickey James in the past earlier on in this season. Back when Mickey James was in the title picture. And uh, we previously had Rhea Ripley. I mean, speaking of past reigns, we saw that uh, Rhea Ripley versus Mickey James feud. That was a whole situation. Oh, went for the standing moonsault again, but. Oh, Bel Air! Managed to move out the way, but then Evans scouting that spear. Kick to the midsection, and you got to wonder, Bianca Belair playing her music during that previous match to try and throw off Rhea Ripley. Is that going to come back to bite her? She ultimately got what she wanted, with uh, Rhea Ripley not managing to qualify. But now she's got one... what. <laughs> She's got herself looking over her shoulder. You know, she's got to constantly now look out for Rhea Ripley. And I think that's why, for the majority of this match so far, she's really been off her game. She's constantly looking over her shoulder and... Yep. As predicted, right as I'm talking about it. But Ripley doesn't actually look like she's coming out here, pulling the same trick that Bel Air pulled. And Evans is uh, happy to take advantage of it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Bel Air lifting her up. KOD to Evans. Oh my god, and Bel Air's not done with her. Bel Air. With a second KOD trying to make sure that Evans is DOA. And where is she going? Looking for the 450 splash off the top. One, two, 
What a definitive win there for Bianca Belair, who goes to the Elimination Chamber. Rhea Ripley has got to be pissed after that one. But congratulations to Belair, she's going to get another title opportunity. Now this next qualifier, before we get to tonight's main event, this one's a bit more of a wild card. So Shayna Baszler, who has been quite the staple of Universe Mode in the past. She's previously worked for the NWA on a handshake deal, but I've been told that she's officially signed. As per request of Ronda Rousey. We know that her and Rousey have been pretty good friends in the past. They've also had their feuds in the past. But it seems like they might be on a similar page again. And the representation for United Empire looking to pick up a win here tonight. She has also faced off, uh, faced off against Rhea Ripley in the past back at uh, NXT War Games. Blair Davenport. And uh, she's hoping to bring this one home for the United Empire. She wants to get in that on uh, like in on that match. She's the only female member of United Empire. So a lot rests on her shoulders when it comes to bringing home the gold. Here we go, the submission magician. Shayna Baszler with Blair Davenport. Kick to the midsection there from Davenport after being hit by that step up punch. What a starting off move there by Baszler and Davenport's going to go after the arm here. Noticing right off the bat that that was Shayna's stronger arm. Stalling suplex though. Shayna wriggles out into the German. I believe it last show, <laughs> as well as earlier in this show, the women's division's been incredible lately. And we've got so many fantastic competitors, it's going to be one hell of an elimination chamber. Regardless of who ends up qualifying. And look at Shayna on top of Davenport here. Oh my god, the forearms and elbows to Davenport. Keeping her grounded. Oh my god, and a lariat completely flattened her. Holy shit. And this combination of open, open palm strikes with the kicks. And then finishing off with that elbow. It's, <laughs> it's been one hell of a challenge for Davenport to keep up with the speed of Baszler. Those sharp strikes, pinpoint strikes. Oh, and the step up punch again. Shayna getting geared up. Into the knee strike. To a seated Davenport. And Davenport just got rocked. And Shayna going to try and take advantage with a schoolboy roll up. Oh my god, and she almost got it. Davenport back to her feet, but stops Shayna. Looking for the Falcon Arrow. Shayna stalling it. Catches her into the German. Shayna Baszler has been one step ahead of Blair Davenport. Throughout this match, and now looking for that cutter again. There it is. Into the corner there, now dragging possibly the unconscious body of Davenport to the centre of the ring. One, two, and that is it. Shayna Baszler with one of the quicker qualifying matches. Things are about to get a lot more brutal inside of that elimination chamber as Shayna Baszler qualifies. Main event time and Liv Morgan going to get an opportunity here to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. Though she's got one hell of a challenge ahead. Liv Morgan in the past been very up and down, much like Tony Storm. They've had very similar career uh, career statistics, let's say, win, wins and losses. Um, 
have lately been on a little bit of a downer. But of course, that's not to say that she couldn't pick up a win here tonight and what hell of a win it would be. Because Ronda Rousey, who statistically, if we're going to be talking about statistics, Ronda Rousey statistically should be the number one contender at the moment. She's picked up constant wins since returning. So here we go. The final placement in the Elimination Chamber. We've got Charlotte Flair, Dewdrop. We've got Bianca Belair. We've got Tony Storm. And we've got Shayna Baszler. We could have Ronda Rousey or Liv Morgan added to that list. And look at Morgan with that combo of her own. Very nice there, the arm ringer into the leg sweep. And this match spewing to the outside, Liv Morgan luring in Ronda Rousey with that drop kick there. Oh, and here with a jawbreaker. Not much give on those mats. So they, these, <laughs> these women have got to be careful. They've got to be careful. All Out War is the final stop before we start building towards NWA Starcade. Our season finale pay-per-view. Oh my god, look at these attacks! And Liv Morgan's trying to fight back. Oh my god, and I think the leg of uh, Ronda Rousey clipped that steel step. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Big splash! Well, and my neighbours are making one hell of a racket, so I'm going to try and do my commentary. <laughs> <laughs> In between all of that, 201 Face Buster there by Liv Morgan. Oh, looking for an early win in this main event match. Play of the day! Play of the day to Rousey! Oh my god! And Morgan just almost put her away. That would have been the biggest win of Morgan's career. That would have been an incredible... Incredible, incredible win to put down on her, on her report card, sure, whatever you put your wins down on. Where is she going now? Oh my god, it doesn't matter because Rousey's moved out the way. Morgan's caught her though. She tries to get the advantage on a grounded Liv Morgan. Morgan's just too quick, too quick for Rousey. Oh, Rousey with a stomp to the arm of Liv Morgan there. What a brutal move and working down on the arm. Twisting it round into the arm breaker. Holy shit, Rousey hit a point in this match and now every single move has just been pure brutality. Morgan's trying to create some space, the hot shot on the ropes. Who? Could have been going for a super kick there. Oh, went for it again. Back and forth, back and forth, and she hits it to the midsection. Morgan stays down, Rousey's trying to make sure that she stays down. Oh my god, where the hell is Rousey taking Morgan? Oh, arm breaker off the top. Arm breaker off the top. Holy shit. And now the knee strikes. The knee strikes to Morgan. Rolling her through. Piper's pit. And Morgan's been put down. By Rousey. Dragging her to the middle of the ring. This is very similar to the Shayna match. Very similar. And this time though, going for the submission instead. Gonna try and break the arm of Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan forced to tap out. Ronda Rousey qualifies as the final participant in that elimination chamber. It is gonna be a stacked match at All Out War. Charlotte Flair's got one hell of a challenge. Retaining that championship against all of these women.